Wow. <laughs> um, I never in my wildest dreams imagined to have one varsity jacket from Michigan State. Um, and now I managed to get a second one. So it's an absolutely incredible honor. Um, so thank you to the selection committee, as so many people have said. I'm, I feel truly blessed to be up here right now. Um, in June, when I actually missed my first call from Alan, I had a voicemail and called him back the next day. And um, it was just such a privilege to hear that I was going to be part of this amazing class. And we uh, had a luncheon earlier today, and hearing his gratitude um, and love for the university was really, um, really, really special to hear. And it's great to have such an amazing person leading the athletic department at Michigan State these days. Um, I know many people have also thanked Kate for running uh, this event, putting every, running the event, putting everything together. Um, there are so many things that are happening this weekend for all of um, all of the class of 2023 being inducted and. She organized everything so much that I was able to leave all of the stressors that I had at home and come back here and just really enjoy every little bit of this weekend. So um, I, I don't think any of us can really truly thank Kate enough for all of the hard work she's put into this. Um, so I never imagined to have one of these. I think the number one person for me to thank right now is actually my mother. Um, I came to this campus about 17 years ago as a young female who wanted to give up all sports. I, um, I tried to be sort of that statistic, and when I came to Michigan State, I wanted to be a part of the uh, study abroad programs. I wanted to be the typical student and enjoy the experience that I envisioned. What I got was not that, and I'm grateful for that. Um, my very first practice with the, uh, the rowing team, uh, Coach Christina Timoshevitz Donnelly is here tonight. And she, we used to have these things called preferred walk-ons and they were athletes who I think came in about two weeks before the rest of the, the novice rowing athletes who had no experience. And so they were getting coached. And my first day on the water, I was um, in a boat with all of those athletes. And the entire practice, Christina was calling me out, telling me to do things, and I was thinking, man, I'm really, really, really bad at this. Um, <laughs> so turns out that was, I guess, not the case. Um, but I am forever grateful for the experience I had here. Um, it truly, truly changed my life. Um, we were actually joking as a family earlier today um, I actually was incredibly afraid of public speaking when I walked onto this campus. Uh, when I was a junior in high school, I gave my sister's senior speech of her senior basketball game, and I cried the entire time. Um, after my freshman year, I was able to do a study abroad program that uh, Jim Pignataro, uh, a late um, member of our academic support staff that we had at Michigan State, he set up a study abroad program for student athletes where we got to go to Australia and compete, or not compete, but train in our sports during the summer and actually be a part of the study abroad community. Um, we stayed in a building and took classes and there was a little divider in a conference room and one class was a kinesiology class, the other class was a general uh, Michigan State credit. And we had to do some public speaking. And I was shaking so hard and so nervous that the students in the other class were literally laughing <laughs> at how nervous that me and actually um, another student athlete, Gwen, who was on the field hockey team, the two of us were just incredibly nervous. So um, being a part of the rowing team, being put into situations that um, I had to start speaking in front of people. It's, um, it's really just changed a lot about my life. Um, I'm, this is the first time I've been back in Michigan since 2017, and it literally, it just feels like a blink of an eye, um, but it's been six years. And I think something that's so incredibly special about this university is our community. Um, I... This month has kind of been a month of Spartans for me. I work at Boston University now, and Ashton Henderson, one of our senior staff members at Michigan State, he was 
on our campus speaking to our athletic department in August. And about two days later, our field hockey team was out there and they um, had a great game in their first home, uh, not home opener, but first game of the season and beat BU. I think it was three to one. So it was really great to be there. Um, and not only that, the alums who are the superstars that everyone looks at are the same Spartans as everyone here. Um, when I competed in Rio, Draymond Green was also there. I did not meet him, but my family was up on Christ the Redeemer with uh, the same day that him and some of the basketball players were up there. And none of the basketball players were taking pictures with anybody, but they connected and noticed that my family was Spartan somehow, and Draymond took pictures with all of them. Um, and last year, I was, um, I grew up in Buffalo, New York, and was inducted into a Hall of Fame in my hometown with Ryan Miller. Um, and he is, for those who don't know, also an incredible Spartan alum and um, the all-time winningest goal goaltender in U.S. hockey history. And his family treated me like I was royalty. And I was like, do you know who your son is? <laughs> um, so it's been an absolute pleasure, uh, excuse me, pleasure to be a part of this community and it's completely changed my life. Um, so I'm so grateful for it. Uh, I'm also incredibly grateful for the opportunity to meet uh, all of the other inductees um, of this year's class. Uh, and to Nicole and Javon, you two are student athletes who I looked up to. We overlapped while we were here. Um, and while I was an athlete, one of our goals was to be, we really wanted to win the first NCAA national championship for a women's program. Uh, and so four years after I graduated, uh, I was watching live as the women's cross country team won their first national championship. And now seeing the, the growth and the progress of our women's teams has just been so special for me over the last few years. Um, I am obsessed with gymnastics as well, so I love watching our gymnastics program and seeing where they are now and seeing the joy and how amazing they are and they're kicking butt and they're like knocking on the doors of, they beat Michigan last year. Um, <laughs> so um, I, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful to be here. I would not be who I am one bit at all without this community and um, thank you all so much. Uh, and I think one of the things that kept me in the sport as long as it did was um, I got invited to train with the national team the fall of my senior year. And I, th I thought, oh, I have to get a job, don't I? Like that's what people do when they get a degree. Um, and my head coach while I was here, Matt Weiss, he and I had a conversation and he, he told me that um, he had wished he had gone and tried to row, and he, he you know, maybe 5'10", not, never gonna be like an elite rower, unfortunately, because rowers are very tall. Um, but he said that a job would always be there for me, but the opportunity to pursue rowing and being the best that I could be at something, that was a right there, right now opportunity. And it's advice that stuck with me every single day as I was training, um, all the way through COVID, I retired during selection and, um, for the 2021 Olympics. And I feel truly grateful because the start of my career, the start of so much of everything good that has happened to me in the last 17 years, it started because of everything that happened here. Um, and I feel truly blessed that I was given the opportunity to really truly find what my, um, my capabilities were in a sport or anything in that matter for life. So thank you to every single one of you in here as part of the Spartan community for helping um, so many of us achieve our goals and, um, and try and be the best we can be every day. I really appreciate it. And um, for those of you who live and are part of this community every single day, you probably, we've all heard Go Green a lot tonight, but for me, I don't get to hear it anymore. And I, I'm so grateful to be back around the green and white. I'm surrounded by red and white these days and there's nothing like green and white. So um, I'm just gonna leave us with one more, well, hopefully at least one more go green for tonight. So go green.